Hi guys, today you might be wondering why I've got my PSP screen on my laptop screen. Well, basically this is simple. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play your PSP on your laptop or computer screen. First of all, what you will need is the download um, in the description. And what you do is you go to media file, so that's the that's the download link um, and then you just download it that's random you, you just download you just press download and here you go so when you've downloaded this there you go it's downloading just sorry about that there so it's download it's now downloaded once it's downloaded first of all you can have WinRAW or another type of um, you can even do it with normal five or no or something you kind of extract it so what you do is um you go and you basically extract it you put it onto your desktop there you go it's extracting now there it is you know, do it like the folder so you extract the, the folder out of it then what you want to do is you want to open it and then you get these three files but b before proceeding on from this point I want to let you know that this can will only work for Windows 7 64 bit not 32 bit there are 32 bits which I could demonstrate and show you but the thing is I don't have 32 bit computer I only have 64 bit for some reason I don't know why okay um, so yeah if you don't have 32 bit you better just stop watching this or you could just carry on and you could show it to someone else if you want. Um, okay, so now you get these three two folders. You've extracted the file and then you open the file and then you get these three folders. Then after this, what you want to do is you want to go to C plugins. When you go to C plugins, there are going to be lots of files there. Now, there are some files here that you don't need. Such as Game 150 and Pops. You just delete them. You don't need them. As soon as you delete them, that's it. Now what you want to do is you want to connect your PSP. See, I'm showing you. USB connection. Plug in the wire. There you go. So now it's in USB mode. Now it's in USB mode. What you want to do is you want to go to... You want to go and open it up. For some reason this is not coming. So if I put it on USB mode, hopefully it'll open up. Yep, it will. There you go, removable disk. You shut up. So now I've got there you go. So now that you've deleted those two files off C plugins, what you want to do is you want to copy that C plugins folder onto your PSP. I've already done it, but that's what you want to do. So you just want to go like that, copy to remove the disk. I've already done so I don't need to show you. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to unplug your PS... Uh, you want to go out of <clears throat> USB mode. Let me just reload it because this is annoying and sometimes you have to bear with it. <clears throat> so if I go to not Jewish like shortcut, hopefully it'll come up. For some reason it's not. But what you can do is you can reset the VSH and that's what you need to do sometimes. So this is gonna be one of the problems and I'm showing you how to overcome these problems. There you go, now it's opened. So now that We've done that. What you want to do is that if you, you this can I think it can also work with um, chicken or gen. In other words, I don't know how to say that. I don't like that. So you go to recovery menu, and after recovery menu, you go to plugins. Remember, you have to have this chip. Then these two files will appear. You have to make sure that these two files are enabled. Mine's are enabled. I don't have to show you that. Then what you do? Sorry, I forgot that. Then you just reset your VSH from here or you go into recovery menu blah 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 and you set your vsh there you go and your psp will just turn back on hopefully you have to close it and open it back on up again maybe not 
So once you've done that, now what you want to do is sorry about that, just a game. Now what you want to do is you want to go and shut down your computer. Shut down your computer and then turn it back on. And when you're turning it back on, you want to press F8 and then you get this advanced boot options. Yeah, it will be like this basically. But basically when you go to advanced boot options, oh that's not clear enough. Advanced boot option will have a uh, option there and it will be disable driver signature enforcement and using your arrows you want to go down and enter on that so you shut down your computer then you turn it back on you press f8 let me repeat it f8 then you go down to disable driver signature enforcement and you press enter with the arrow keys you go down after you've done that, what you want to do is you want to go to device, device installation, sorry, I'm just playing, settings, hopefully it'll come up, on your computer, or you could just type in device and then lots of options will come up. There you go. And then there will be a change device installation settings. Then you press on that. And normally you have some random setting which is mostly or it's going to be yes, do this automatically, which is recommended. Now you want to, you don't want to do that. You want to click on no. And then you want to go to never install driver software for Windows update. Don't worry, this won't give you a virus or anything. It's, um, remote joy light is virus free. Um, it's good. And then, you have to have this tick replace general device icons with enhanced icons if you want that and then you save changes and then they give you a warning i think if they don't give you a warning then you're on your way if, and they give you a warning and then if they do give you a warning sometimes they don't because of your security options that you've set then you just press um yes just uh, install this driver software anyway after you've done that is what you want to do is you want to go to device manager on your computer manager there and you want to open that up remember this is free because I've tried it and I've got protection so yeah I've got Norton 360 the gold edition and everything's fine as you can see in the secure button there and then you get this. Then you have loads of random things here that you won't understand, which I have to explain to you right now. Okay, here is going to be an option which is not here now. It's going to be other. And in that option, it's going to be PSB B. What you want to do on that is if I can find my PSP B. Yeah. So, what you want to do on that is you want to update the software. There, there it is, PSP. Well, normally it's PSP B, but it's gonna be called that, and it's gonna be in the others option. Then you click on the right button, and then you press on update driver software. When you update driver software, you go to browse my computer for driver software, then you go browse. And then once you've done that, what you wanna do is you wanna find your remote Joy Light folder, and then in that folder, when you find it, you wanna go to drivers. And then drivers, there will be two files. One is USB underscore driver, and the second one is USB underscore driver underscore x64. And you want to press OK, and you press Next. And then it'll take some time. It's up to date, and then it'll give you a warning. It will definitely give you a warning. And you want to press Yes. I want to install this device anyway. Then you press X, and then what you do is you go and run and run Joylight. You go and run remote joylight, which will hopefully work. And then, if it doesn't load up, 
you have to press reset VSH. And one tip is, whenever you're turning on your computer and you want to play your PSP on your screen, you always have to press F8. It's not a permanent setting that will be on. It will be, it's a, it's a limited setting. So you're going to have it for some time. If I just turn back the remote joy light on. For some reason it's not working at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> this is what happens sometimes, but don't worry, it works most of the time. It's because of my recording and I've got a high CPU at the moment on my computer. So, thanks for watching my video. If you have any problems um, with it, um, comment, um, please subscribe and like. Uh, thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.